Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and I did something a little different today. I decided that I would have my eight-year-old beside me. We've never done this. He's the one that has the personality most similar to me. I decided that it would be a good idea to have him next to me. He's the one that draws you all pictures occasionally when things are so obvious that even my eight-year-old can figure it out. And so he is here as we go through these things. So I'm going to start here. The Fed is actively working on a CBDC and some prototypes are near completion. I showed this, I showed this tweet to you the other day from Esoteric XRP. The Fed Bank of Boston and MIT plan to unveil two prototypes of a digital dollar as early as July. Translation prototype CBDC plus MIT plus Gensler, Gary Gensler equals ALGO. Then two XLM question mark bridge XRP question mark. And he's retweeting this. <clears throat> and this is from James Rule XRP, US dollar, the Fed plans to unveil prototypes. Okay. So, but the point is, is what I'm about to show you is, is that Algo seems to be in the mix, in my opinion, with XLM and XRP. Now, first thing that I need to show you, we went over this. Um, Brad Garlinghouse was in Miami and you know, when they tweet pictures like this out, normally it means something. So you got Brad Garlinghouse here, the two guys from Algorand here, or two of the guys. And then today we get this, Brad Garlinghouse tweets this out. Congrats to Mike and the team, Michael Arrington. Son, look, this is, um, this is Michael Arrington. When I was in Singapore, I met him and he's about six foot I would say six foot four or five, like bigger than daddy. Wow. Big, really big guy. Okay, so anyway, Michael Arrington, um, Coindesk with, with Scoop. Today, we are launching our second fund, the $100 million um, Arrington Algo Growth Fund. I'll write a blog post later today. So anyway, those guys are in Miami, and then all of a sudden, he's investing in Algorand. And, and he was there with Brad Garlinghouse, their best buddies. So... Algorand is now on the radar. And I want you to look at this guy, Silvio McCauley, I guess that's how you say that. This guy is um, from MIT. He's been a faculty at MIT. We know all about MIT. Who else was at MIT? Gary Gensler, here he is. Uh, Silvio McCauley's Algorand. Uh, he's a professor over in the computer science and AI lab and Turing award winner. He's got a company that has an interesting thing. It's like a jury selection. It's like picking somebody for the jury uh, that's that's picking this short group of 12 nodes that might do something. Uh, and every block has that selection process, but then there's another broader group that then can check the work of the jury. So often there's kind of a second uh, automated way uh, because trust isn't there ensuring that there's a quick second check. Did they decide guilty or, or innocent correctly, uh, so to speak? Uh, again, I apologize if I'm a little oversimplifying Silvio's brilliant work, but it's... Okay, uh, Silvio so, McCauley's so, he know, so he was a colleague with Silvio McCauley who created, who's the founder of Algorand. Then here he is again talking about Algorand. You could create Uber, or a lift on top of a blockchain technology today, uh, well, maybe in five years you could. It would be have the performance. Uh, Sylvia McCallie's Algorand, uh, who's a uh, Turing Award winner at, at MIT that I work with. Um, Sylvia's got a great technology that has the performance. You could create Uber on top. If you, you could create. I don't think he's going to be calling Algorand a security, do you? I seriously doubt it. Now, CSMA144K sent me this. This video was going around today, and you got to see this. This is from CNBC. These guys ought to be ashamed of themselves. Welcome back to Squawk Box. This is, I think a lot of people are going to want to know about this. Do you want to put some crypto on your 401k, Joe? Because here we go. 
Retirement account provider for us all has struck a deal with Coin. Actually, we've been talking about this for over a year. It's iTrust Capital, dude. Um, IRAs by iTrust Capital. They're in the description of all my videos, Andrew Ross Sorkin. If you want to go check it out, you can invest in crypto through those. These guys were one of the first ones in the game. Case that will let workers invest up to 5% of their 401k contributions in cryptocurrencies. For us all is a relatively small provider with about 400 employer clients. It is not disclosing how many of those have opted to give their employees a cryptocurrency investment option. But it seems to me now that we're at this point in the game, this is when the SEC and Gary Gensler um, and the other folks in Washington need to decide what they're going to do because this sort of, and maybe it's a hands-off policy. See, now here's why he's saying this, folks. The reason he's saying now all these regulators need to just to step in is because they're in, they're coming real close to encroaching on Wall Street's money, the 401k, the IRA. That's why he there these guys are all of a sudden stirring. I want to fast forward and I want you to listen to this. But I think that there's going to be a conversation that I imagine has to happen. I don't know. As time goes by, we need to decide whether crypto is is an answer to risk or just right. a very risky asset? And I don't know the answer. I know. And it, it's going to play out. And then people there are on both sides of that. But what I would say, people, you know, I don't, dollars are pretty stable. Dollar is a great currency. It's a, it's a worldwide currency. But if I lived somewhere else and I was trying to keep what I earned. It might be. It might be a better way. I don't know. Think about the, the rest of the world. Could be. Where it costs a trillion Zimbabwean dollars to buy a, a, a soft drink. So if you were making money over there and had a smartphone and could put money into it, don't you think there will be a billion Bitcoin owners that are maintaining the, what they work for in that format instead of in the, the, the local also currency? Potentially some, someone else will come up with another cryptocurrency that maybe is better than XRP. Uh, th right. So, so something really dumb they just said, they're acting like these people in these other countries, they have all of these currencies that are just scary. Meanwhile, these guys don't act like it's a problem at all to have $28 trillion in debt. They act like this is just normal um, normal stuff here. And this that's just insulting. That's why I said these guys should have been fired yesterday. Okay. Son, did you have something? You're practicing your swing. Did you have something that you wanted to... Did you have any questions so far for the audience? No. You can ask anything you want. Uh... What do you think about this guy? This guy, he goes by the name I Am Legion. And he has that the skull cap on, and he's got a light shining on his face. He looks kind of scary in that picture, doesn't he? That's what I was about to say. What do you think about that? And why is there a dragon right there? Oh, well, that, you know what that is? That's that show on HBO called Game of Thrones. Oh. Anyway, this guy right here is one of the best um, researchers uh, of XRP in social media. What's a researcher? Well, he goes and finds all kinds of interesting things, and so that's what that is. Oh. All right, so then we have this. Um, State Street Bank launches dedicated cryptocurrency division. Now, we've been waiting on this for a long time. The big boys are now launching their custody, and that's important. The big boys are launching their custody because this is what I think we've all been waiting on. Now, when State Street launched, I wanted to show you this. Um, you can't, I told you, you can't have the iPad running while I'm doing this. This kid's addicted to the iPad. You can, look, I'm trying to, I'm trying to involve you in the show and try this out, but you, you got to play the game. It's not funny. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. So here's what the State Street announcement reminded me of is this right here. Trickle, trickle, then flooded. This guy is from State Street. Listen to him talking about intellectual properties, paintings, other things like crypto kitties, right? People have heard of crypto kitties. So we're seeing assets start to become digitized, trickle, 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 and then we believe there'll be a flood. When that happens, you know, I would look at a historic precedent. Uh, if you think about 30 years ago when assets moved from materialization to dematerialization, where we move from coupon clipping to stock, and stock certificates to electronification, uh, we believe the same thing will happen with digital assets, Yep, it's happening now. Okay, Heo Seiko Carmona sent me this. 
this was just an interesting website. Let me hit, hit the refresh button on that. And um, it shows XRPL ODL uh, like moving around the planet. <laughs> I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. But I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. What do you think of that? That's cool. Look, you can rotate the globe and then you can like zero in on it. Watch. Can I try? Yeah, you can try it for a second. Push the button. See? There you go. Wow. All right, let's continue the show. Okay, so then we had, yeah, he sent me that. Well, did I? I guess he sent me this too. Clinton Donnelly, you know, the, the whole the whole uh, Spark token and the taxation of that has been a topic recently. And so Clinton Donnelly is going to be doing a talk on it. XRP Investors Live Twitter Spaces event to discuss. Um, airdrop, it's not as bad as you fear. As your fear, um, 15 minute talk Tuesday, June 15th at 1230 Pacific time, 330 Eastern. So set a reminder. That's good stuff. All right. Pablo Graylett sent me this um, from, this is Anthony Pompliano. And the crazy part is Anthony Pompliano is tweeting this out and he thinks that this is a positive thing. The IMF is not happy about El Salvador's decision to make Bitcoin legal tender. Well, I got news for him. The crackdown's coming. These people never liked Bitcoin and they're coming for proof of work. They've got their anchor with the climate thing and that's all they needed. It was just a matter of time. Strap in, man. It's coming. We've been telling you. Ja Chad Stein Grab Grabber Graber uh, sent me this. And this is something to think about, J.C. Collins liquidated crypto holdings and moved everything into two XRPL assets, XRP and Casino Coin, with regulations coming and proof of work crackdown imminent. They told us. Elizabeth Warren said it yesterday. I feel this is the best path to ride the rest of this bull market. And coming regulation storm must, most will go to zero, not fin financial advice. That's what Brad Garlinghouse said a long time ago. Most will go to zero. I would not be caught sitting in proof of work when this crackdown happens, folks. They've told you. Now, is there is there anything? Don't worry about that. Is there anything that you want to say? Because I'm about to do my outro here. Uh, Here's what I normally say. I say I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and what else should we say? Is there anything that you need to draw everybody a picture on? I guess. What do you want to draw a picture of? <laughs> you could draw it of that I Am Legion guy or the dragon that you saw. You want to draw a dragon? Sure. All right. No XRP pictures? That's what they really want. Okay, an XRP picture. All right. Thanks for